and welcome to today's edition of the news in brief brought to you by graphic communication is giving you the opportunity to have news not only in hard copy but also in a digital form download your graphic news plus now and choose your preferred package daily weekly monthly and annually and access free news on various interest areas as well visit us on graphic.com.gh for further information graphic news plus connecting people through news in the headlines Accra High Court gives a Sin Central MP Kennedy a Japan another day to defend contempt allegations. Wayek begins investigation into alleged leakage of BEC questions. And turn out on day one of the voters' register exhibition, not very encouraging. Now the news in brief. The Accra High Court has given the Member of Parliament for a Sin Central Kennedy a Kompreku with Japan a new day to deal with with his alleged contemptuous comment against a sitting judge. Kennedy, who says the court lacks jurisdiction to hear the contempt case against him, will return to the court on Friday, September 25, to face Justice Amos Wuntawuni, who he allegedly insulted. At the hearing in Accra on Friday, September 18, Justice Wuntawuni adjourned the case to allow lawyers for the MP to submit legal arguments on why the court should stay proceedings until the Supreme Court rules on a judicial review application in relation to the case. Mr. Japon on Thursday, September 17, 2020, asked the Supreme Court to stop the contempt proceedings against him by the Accra High Court on the basis that the court had no jurisdiction to do so. In Mr. Japon's affidavit in support of the application, he says his comments were not against Justice Wuni of Land Court 12, but was rather against a different judge in another matter at Labour Court 12, for which he said he had duly apologized. Lawyer for Kane Japan, Afenyo Makin, thinks the court was right in adjourning the case. We drew the court's attention to matters of jurisdiction, and the court obliged us for further legal engagement, and the court so motto took an adjournment so that we could further raise the issue. Law has no limitations. Once an officer of the court, in this case counsel, engages the court on a healthy exchange on matters of law, a judge-minded to ensuring justice in a matter will do what my Lord has done. And we think my Lord has demonstrated that he always wants the law to reign supreme. That was Afenyo Markins, one of Ken Ejapon's lawyers, speaking to the media. The Ghana Office of the West African Examinations Council says it has started investigation into allegations that some papers in the just-ended basic education certificate examination got leaked. The head of legal affairs at the Exams Council, Reverend Victor Brew, says as of Thursday, September 17, eight persons had been rounded up in Accra, three in Obuase and some others in other regions. According to him, the suspects were handed over to the National Security and the Bureau of National Investigations to assist with investigations into the issues of photographing some of the question papers soon after exams have begun. The issue of leakage, we have gone ahead to report these allegations. We've gone ahead to also hand over to the security agencies, specifically National Security BNI, some of the persons that have been apprehended to assist with investigations into these issues of snapping of question papers after the exam has begun. Of that yesterday, we had a Meanwhile, scores of students moments after their final purpose on Friday broke into spontaneous jubilation, singing and jumping about because they have successfully completed a major milestone in life. <laughs> 
The nationwide exhibition of the voters register, which took off on September 18, 2020, saw low participation at most of the exhibition centers across the country. Some of the centers were virtually empty. When graphic online teams toured some of the centers in Okra, Tema, Kumasi, and Bolgatanga. Electoral Commission officials at the centers sat idle, waiting for potential voters to cross check their identification details. In Accra, as of 1 p.m., one of the centers recorded 22 patrons, while other centers had single figures. Exhibition officers who spoke to the graphic online said, turnout on the first day of the exercise was very poor, but were optimistic that the exercise will pick up in the coming days. Thank you for watching. That's all we have for today. For more news, visit graphic.com.gh or log on to Facebook at Daily Graphic and on YouTube at graphic gh my name is julius echansafo